Act 4, Scene 1, Thunder. Enter the three witches with a cauldron. Thrice the brindled cat hath mewed. Thrice, and once, the hedge pig whined. Harpier cries, tis time, tis time. Round about the cauldron go, in the poisoned entrails throw. Toad, that under cold stone days and nights has thirty-one sweltered venom sleeping got, boil thou first in the charmed pot. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn, and cauldron, bubble. Fillet of a fenny snake in the cauldron, boil and bake. Eye of newt and toe of frog, wool of bat, and tongue of dog, adder's fork, and blind worm's sting, lizard's leg, and howlet's wing, for a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth, boil and bubble. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Scale of dragon, tooth of wolf, witch's mummy, maw, and gulf of the ravined salt sea shark, root of hemlock digged in the dark, liver of blaspheming Jew, gall of goat and slips of you, slivered in the moon's eclipse, Nose of Turk and Tartar's lips. Finger of birth strangled babe. Ditch delivered by a drab. Make the gruel thick and slab. Add thereto a tiger's chaudron for the ingredients of our cauldron. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Cool it with a baboon's blood. Then the charm is firm and good. Enter Hecate. Oh, well done. I commend your pains and every one shall share in the gains. And now about the cauldron sing, like elves and fairies in a ring, enchanting all that you put in. Hecate exits. 
by the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Open locks, whoever knocks. Enter Macbeth. How now, you secret, black, and midnight hags? What is't you do? A deed without a name. I conjure you by that which you profess, howe'er you come to know it, answer me. Though you untie the winds and let them fight against the churches, though the yeasty waves confound and swallow navigation up, though bladed corn be lodged and trees blown down, though castles topple on their warders' heads, though palaces and pyramids do slope their heads to their foundations, though the treasure of nature's germen tumble all together, even till destruction sicken, Answer me to what I ask you. Speak, demand, will answer. Say if thou'dst rather hear it from our mouths or from our masters. Call him, let me see him. Pour in sow's blood that hath eaten her nine pharaoh. Grease that sweatin' from the murderer's gibbet throw into the flame. Come high or low, thyself and office deftly show. Thunder, enter first apparition, an armed head. Tell me, thou unknown power, he knows thy thought. Hear his speech, but say thou not. Macbeth. Macbeth, Macbeth, beware, Macduff, beware the thane of Fife. Dismiss me, enough. The first apparition descends. Whate'er thou art, for thy good caution, thanks. Thou hast harped my fear aright. But one word more. He will not be commanded. Here's another, more potent than the first. Thunder, enter a second apparition, a bloody child. Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth. Had I three ears, I'd hear thee. Be bloody, bold, and resolute. Laugh to scorn the power of man, for none of woman born shall harm Macbeth. The second apparition descends. Then live, Macduff, 
what need I fear of thee? But yet I'll make assurance, double sure, and take a bond of fate. Thou shalt not live, that I may tell pale-hearted fear it lies, and sleep in spite of thunder. Thunder. Enter third apparition, a child crowned with a tree in his hand. What is this that rises like the issue of a king and wears upon his baby brow the round and top of sovereignty? Listen, but speak not to it. Be lion-mettled, proud, and take no care who chafes, who frets, or where conspirers are. Macbeth shall never vanquished be until great Burnham Wood to high Dunsinane Hill shall come against him. The third apparition descends. That will never be. Who can impress the forest? Bid the tree unfix his earthbound root. Sweet bodements, good. Rebellious dead. Rise never till the wood of Burnham rise, and our high-placed Macbeth shall live the lease of nature, pay his breath to time and mortal custom. Yet my heart throbs to know one thing. Tell me if your art can tell so much. Shall Banquo's issue ever reign in this kingdom. Seek to know no more. I will be satisfied. Deny me this, and an eternal curse fall on you. Let me know. Cauldron descends. Hot boys. Why sinks that cauldron? And what noise is this? Show. 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 Show his eyes and grieve his heart. Come like shadows, so depart. Enter a show of eight kings, and the last with a glass in his hand, Banquo's ghost following. Thou art, too, like the spirit of Banquo, down. Thy crown doth sear mine eyeballs, and thy hair, thou other gold-bound brow, is like the first. A third is like the former, filthy hags, why do you show me this? A fourth Start, eyes. What? Will the line stretch out to the crack of doom? Another yet? A seventh? 
I'll see no more. And yet, the eighth appears, who bears a glass which shows me many more. And some I see that twofold balls and treble scepters carry. Horrible sight. Now I see tis true. For the blood boltered Banquo smiles upon me and points at them for his. Exit, show of kings, and Banquo's ghost. What? Is this so? Ay, sir, all this is so. But why stands Macbeth thus amazedly? Come, sisters, cheer we up his sprites, and show the best of our delights. I'll charm the air to give a sound while you perform your antic round. That this great king may kindly say our duties did his welcome pay. Music, the witches dance and vanish. Where are they? Gone? Let this pernicious hour stand I accursed in the calendar. Come in, without there. Lennox enters. What's your grace's will? Saw you the weird sisters? No, my lord. Came they not by you? No, indeed, my lord. Infected be the air whereon they ride, and damned all those that trust them. I did hear the galloping of horse who was came by, Tis two or three, my lord, that bring you word. Macduff is fled to England. Fled to England? I, my good lord. Time, thou anticipatest my dread exploits. The flighty purpose never is o'ertook unless the deed go with it. From this moment, the very firstlings of my heart shall be the firstlings of my hand. And even now to crown my thoughts with acts, be it thought and done, the castle of Macduff I will surprise. Seize upon fife. Give to the edge of the sword his wife, his babes, and all unfortunate souls that trace him in his line. No boasting like a fool. This deed I'll do before this purpose cool. but no more sights. Where are these gentlemen? Come, bring me where they are. They exit. 